Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. Earlier today I was watching Pelfrey's video on the problems he had with his JBO magnets and he mentioned he felt as if he was almost doing a public service announcement. So I thought, what a great idea. Maybe I should do a public service announcement on something I recently did to improve safety around my aquariums. So here you are, inspired by Pelfrey. This is a aquatic public service announcement Friday. So last March when I got my battery back up, I also did a bunch of reading on issues with electricity in the aquarium, in and around the aquarium with equipment failures, stray voltage, and all that sort of thing, causing problems and energizing the water. So this week, we had a chance to see how well the battery backup worked because we had an electrician in and he installed five GFCI outlets in our house. Two for the aquariums upstairs here, the salt water, and three for the fresh water in the basement. One of the things I learned is that salt water is 10 times as conductive as fresh water. So that was pretty scary. So the power was out for an hour while these uh, outlets were being installed and my battery backup ran flawlessly. So I'm super pleased about that. So the first outlet is over here. It's kind of an awkward spot. You can't really see it. And the second one is just past the 20. There's more stuff plugged in there. The outlets we got have a green and a red light. The green light means everything is good. It's on the left there. And the red light means that the outlet has popped for some reason. So as soon as you see that red light, you should be checking your equipment. I'm trying to get myself in the habit of looking at these lights regularly and making sure I check before I put my hands in the water. Hopefully I would know if something was wrong, but you just never know. This one is really hard to see. And we picked up this super telescopic mirror, really cheap at Princess Auto. And it's just the right length to reach back in there and twist it at the right angle and I can see the lights perfectly. So I can look at both of these outlets without much of a problem. So now we finally have safety around the tanks. I don't need to worry anymore about whether or not there might be stray voltage in the tank and uh, how awful it would be if my husband came home and found me on the floor in bad shape or even worse. And I can't stress seriously enough, if you do some reading, you'll read stories of people who have been killed by stray voltage or electrical energizing of their aquarium water. And uh, this is just one step I'm taking to make sure that's not me. I want to enjoy this hobby. I don't want to be scared of it. Uh, it's bad enough that the palytoxin thing happened, <laughs> if it was actually palytoxin. But anyway, never mind. Um, I'm doing my best to be safe, and this is one of the, probably the easiest and most inexpensive things that I could have done lately, uh, and I'm super happy we did it. So thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't too much of a downer for a Friday, but as a public service announcement, maybe it'll make somebody think and uh, do some things to keep themselves safe. So you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with an update on the rescape of the 29, because guess what? It is finally finished.